Hi, my name is Martin Torgoff. Thanks for a great presentation. I have a question about kids with ADHD. Um, we have an 11-year-old who has ADHD, and we taught him to meditate last summer. And he's doing well with it. But he also takes uh, Ritalin, uh, methylphenidate. What is the relationship? Uh, do you find compatibility between transcendental meditation and a central nervous stimulant like Ritalin, or incompatibility? And what is your advice about that? Yeah, Dr. Stixroot would also reflect on that. First, ADHD is just a lag of normal development of the rest of the brain with the frontal lobes. So a kid with ADHD is like a company where the boss is on vacation. And the sales department is out selling things, but they haven't made them yet. And there's lots of energy, lots of creativity. I, I really enjoyed working with the students with ADHD. And if Serena is here, I'd like to thank you for the work that you did. She actually started the whole thing and pulled me in. Thank you, Serena. Dr. Serena Grosswald, if you could stand up for a moment. This way. Yes, thank you. A leading researcher in the area of post-traumatic stress and ADHD with Transcendental Meditation. And in terms of compatibility and incompatibility, um, it, uh, they're completely different. So on one level, they're incompatible, but on other level, if someone is on Ritalin, they can also learn to meditate. In the research we did, uh, we didn't t tell people to stop their medications, and we randomly assigned them so we had equal level of medications in both. The point you want to do is work carefully with your physician because as they're transcending, remember, blood flow is increasing to the front part of the brain. That's the part of the brain which is not connected. So what is going to happen is it's going to, as if jump start that delayed connection, and they won't need as much um, dosage for so long.